Hello and welcome to another Enter VN Gaming video. This time we'll be taking down the Mac Vice Chaos Coliseum, who joins the big boys at 50 stamina. Mac Vice is a pretty decent unit. His captain ability boosts the attack of free spirit and striker characters by 2.25 times, as well as boosting their RCV by 1.5 times, which is pretty decent. But considering the difficulty of the Coliseum, you probably have better units with a better captain ability than that. The main reason you'd want to use him is his special, which at stage 3 will reduce chain multiplier limit duration by 5 turns, as well as boosting the color affinity of striker characters by 1.75 times for one turn, which is a pretty big damage boost if you have a lot of the same typing on your team. However, he's obviously not very essential, so you can just skip him if you think it's too hard for your teams at the moment. So with all that said, let's take a look at rounds 1 to 4 before we take it down Mark Vice himself. So the first two rounds of Mac Vice Coliseum are probably more annoying than the second two, which is kind of weird. As you see here, Baby5 has uh, 4 million HP and attacks every turn for about 5,000 damage, which is kind of annoying enough, but then for preemptively, she paralyzes all your units for two turns, which Shanks takes care of. Capone will give you slightly more matching orbs most of the time, and then Sabo will give you an attack boost, which is actually only 1.5 times. Actually kind of sucks. Bawa also locks my chain for a bit more damage, as well as delaying her for one turn. On turn 1, she will silence your unit, two random units for one turn. Turn 2 binds one random unit for three turns. And then turn 3 cuts your HP by 20% after attacking. And then we'll just repeat that over and over. Upon defeat, she will revive with 5555 uh, HP, which obviously is very low, but then has a 250,000 uh, defense buff. So if you don't bring a defense reducer, you're probably not going to kill her. But uh, thankfully, you can just wait out the two turns of defense slump since uh, she doesn't do anything below 20% still only hits for about 5,000 damage so here just binds around a random unit if you have uh, the sockets that pretty much does nothing and just wait one more turn to kill her it's taking freaking forever and now the sabo is boosting by such a little amount but thankfully it doesn't matter since I only have to do 5,000 damage yeah, the 20% HP cut, and then dies to Sabo. <sighs> that took a while. Round 2 is Halloween Corazan, which is pretty annoying since he has uh, a bunch of mobs with 2 hit perfect barriers. But thankfully, Colosseum Shrew will just instantly kill them all because they don't have that much HP. Then he's got to deal with the Corazan himself, who only has 2.8 million HP. Uh, but he does blind you, which <laughs> became my undoing here, as you will see. I'm so bad with hitting perfects with these units that I don't actually do 2.8 million H uh, damage in one turn. So I should have either just uh, kept him up below, I mean above 20%, so he doesn't uh, gain a 3 hit great barrier. But uh, I mess up here. As you can see, he's going to live with like no HP at all. It's so sad. So here he's going to freaking yeah, gain the 3 hit great barrier doubles his own attack and then uh, makes it lowers the rate of getting strength quick and dex orbs for seven turns but th thankfully this team is so tanky I can just wait out the blind so that I can eventually kill him I can actually wait out the freaking barrier as well <laughs> this is a uh, kind of embarrassing but you know I'm not gonna run it again it's not worth the 20 stamina so yeah just let him slowly chip away because you'll chip away at him faster and he's dead Round 3 is Young Virgo, this is the most straightforward one. He has 5 million HP, attacks every turn for 6,000 damage, and he can't be delayed. He doesn't do anything preemptively else, which is bad. Doesn't revive, as long as you don't uh, drop him below 50% or 20%, you should be good. Just deal with the 5 million damage and move on. You don't have to deal with it in one turn. If you just get him, you know, deal like slightly less than 50% and then burst him the next turn, then you'll be good. Otherwise it gets uh, a little tricky after that. but. If you can deal the damage, then it's fine. Stage 4 is Treble. He preemptively poisons your team for 99 turns, which deals 3600 damage. But uh, that really doesn't stand a chance against Gear 4. Just kill the mobs behind him with the Gear 4 specials. Activate all my fight specials. You can either use Koala or Num uh, Robin. You don't have to use both. Adeo is obviously for the all boost. You can also use Mr. Pink if you want. Senior Pink, not Mr. Pink. And uh, yeah, he's dead, he doesn't revive anything, so he's also very easy compared to the first two. So this is the team I'm going to be using to beat Colosseum Mac Vice. It's exactly the same team I used to beat Treble on stage 4. Gear 4 is really nice against Max Vice because he will change all your orbs into badly matching orbs. And since Gear 4 makes any orbs that aren't quick orbs matching, this is really nice. 
So long as you don't get any TND orbs, since they will be switched into bother orbs, which screws you over a little bit. You can also use Time Skip Luffy, but it is a little bit more finicky because not all orbs are matching under his special. And of course, you can make use of any other specials that make orbs matching without actually changing them. Everyone else is there pretty much just to provide a bit more extra damage. Ideo for the orb boost, Robin and Koala for the type boosts on stage 4 and stage 5, and Kizaru for a bit of chain boost. The most useful socket would be Anti Bind for stage 3 and stage 5, and it's never bad to have any auto heal sockets. So, with all that said, let's get started. So as usual, the first two stages, you just stall out your specials. Thankfully, there aren't too many long CDs on this team. Stage three, uh, I will show the baby five version because in my opinion, that's the most difficult one to beat. But you just beat them the same way you'd beat the other two because you don't use any specials, just beat them down with your normal attacks and hope they don't do anything bad at below 20%. And if they do, just avoid that. Pretty straightforward stuff. And then uh, overall, this Colosseum, if you use this team, is pretty easy. Just use gear 4 on stage 4. And then the last turn of gear 4 will be enough to kill Mac Vice. Since it lasts 3 turns. Yeah, I'm just gonna stall out on this Elder Sea uh, Elder Turtle. I always call them Seahorses for some reason. It's for a medium amount of damage. You can see this team actually doesn't have uh, max auto heal. It's only level 4, which is actually a big difference since it's half. Here, on, if you get this red giant and you need to stall more turns, you can do the trick where you drop him below 20%. And he will boost his own attack instead of attacking and then giving you more, uh, two more turns of stall without taking any more damage. That trick has been around since pretty much uh, Doflamingo Raid. Also, you can, you can use Kizaru anytime you want to lower your CDs as well. Remember that if you use Kizaru on the final stage, he will cut your HP by 70%, but that doesn't really matter too much since um, you will kill him anyway on first turn. Here you see Baby 5. Paralyzes you for one turn, which is not too bad. And as I said, you don't use any specials on her, you just wait it out. She only hits for 4,000 damage, and thanks to the Sun Pirate ship, you don't you have a lot of HP to play with. So you just tank it out. She only has 600,000 HP now, but what does suck is this team is pretty much all decks. So if you have a regular Ray Kizuru, that'd be actually pretty nice, as well as Senior Pink over Ideo. As you can see, even without uh, those guys and having 4 dex units, she does uh, die pretty quickly. The main thing to worry about obviously is the revival, since that still is super annoying, you can't kill her on the first turn, especially with this team. But uh, another thing is really worth it to bring a dex, uh, a defense reducer. I'm just gonna keep attacking her since again she doesn't do anything below 20% thankfully. The only ones you gotta worry about that for is Virgo, Virgo obviously is just uh, the same as his uh, stage 3 turn? Yeah, stage 3 version, just with less health. Same thing for Corazan. Heals to 5555. And gets that big defense buff. Thankfully, the defense buff is only for one turn here. The bind doesn't absolutely nothing. Now, I just gotta get rid of all these bomb orbs so that they don't annoy me on the next stage. Douche. Then tank one more hit. As you finally die. Of course, you want to try and get rid of any quick orbs you'll have for the next stage because uh, they're the only orbs that Gear 4 will not make matching. Though it doesn't really matter, you'll do like way, uh, like way more than you need to anyway. Here, Trouble will only poison you for 1.8 thousand damage and it only has about 2 million HP. I'm going to use two Gear 4 specials. You see, I got two quick orbs on Gear 4, which sucks, but. I'll still do enough damage. Use the Koala special here. You probably don't actually even need to use the two type boosters, but uh, you know, it's just fun to do. Here, even while I'm matching all gear four, just smash them in the face, and Adeo finishes them off. Now onto Mac Vice himself. As I said, he will change all your orbs into badly matching orbs, but thankfully that's fine for gear four, since every orb that's not quick will become matching. Adeo will make your orbs boosted by times 2, Nami will boost dex and side units by times 2 as well, and then you just kill him, since 3.5 million is not too bad. You don't even have to use Kizaru, though you can if you want to, just for a little bit extra damage. And that's it, Mac Vice Coliseum. He's not too bad overall compared to other 50 stems, but still a struggle if you don't have the right teams. 
Well, that's it for this video. Post any other teams you have for this Coliseum in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Join the Discord if you like. And I'll see you next time, my Nakama.